Okay, so uh, in this problem, we're given a parabola, y equals x squared. We're given a point a, b, and we're asked to prove that there are exactly two lines through that point that are tangent to the parabola. So the first thing uh, I'm going to do is draw a picture of the parabola itself. So y equals x squared looks something like that. And the point a, b, because we're told that b is uh, less than a squared, that means that that point is uh, somewhere below the parabola, let's say here. Now it's certainly plausible that there are two lines tangent to the parabola through this point. Uh, one line that looks like that, and maybe one line that looks like that. Uh, but we have to prove it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a generic point, a point at random on the parabola. If that point has x value c, then its y value is the square of c. It's c squared. Now, now, now certainly I can find the slope of the line through my point c, c squared and the point a, b. So if we call this line L sub s for the secant line, the slope of L sub s is the rise over the run. It's the difference in the y values, c squared minus b, over the difference in the x values, c minus a. I can also find the slope of the line tangent to the curve at c, c squared. So if I differentiate x squared, I get 2x. If I plug in x equals c, then I get 2c. So the slope of that tangent line, which I'm going to denote L sub t, is 2x evaluated at x equals c, namely 2c. And what I'm interested in are those points c, c squared, where those two lines coincide, where the secant line is in fact equal to the tangent line, or more precisely, where the slope of the secant line is equal to the slope of the tangent line. So I'm interested in those values c and those points c, c squared, such that these two slopes are equal. So I cross multiply, I get on this side 2c squared minus 2ac. On the right side, I've cleared the denominator, so I have c squared minus b. Collecting everything, let's say on this side, I move the c squared over here, I get 2c squared minus c squared, which is c squared minus 2ac plus b. And I want to find the values of c that satisfy this uh, quadratic equation. So using the quadratic formula, c is equal to 2a plus or minus minus 2a squared, which is 4a squared, minus 4 times 1, because remember c is our variable here, so to speak, times b, all over 2. So if you pull the 4 out of here, you can cancel the 2's here, here, and the 4's there and there, and we'll end up with a plus or minus a squared minus b. Now here's where the condition becomes important, because we're told, remember, that b is less than a squared. We're told that the point is below the parabola. So since b is less than a squared, the thing underneath the square root sign is positive, and that means that we have, in fact, two distinct solutions. We have two distinct solutions. The first one is c equals a plus the square root of a squared minus b. And the second is c equals a minus the square root of a squared minus b. Now the curious thing here is that if the condition were changed, you would see that the, the, the mathematics would indicate that the picture is still correct. What do I mean by that? So if b were equal to a squared, if we had not b less than a squared, but b equal a squared, that would mean that our point would not be below the parabola, but on the parabola. And on the parabola, we would expect there to be exactly one tangent line. If b were equal to a squared, this would be equal to zero. And so there would be one value of c, namely c equals a. Lastly, if b were larger than a squared, then this point would be above the parabola. And for a point above the parabola, we would expect there to be no tangent lines. And indeed, if b were bigger than a, then the thing underneath the square root sign would be negative, and we would have no real solutions for c. In this case, because we're told that b is less than a squared, we have exactly two solutions.